Welcome to another Skyrim guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with modding Skyrim as a complete beginner. So let's see if we can do this in like 10 minutes or less. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have an extractor utility. I recommend using 7-zip. Make sure you download the appropriate version for you and uh, we can get started after that. The next thing that you need to do is you need to make an account at nexusmods.com. All of these links that I mentioned in the video will be in the description below. And you have a bunch of mods here for all kinds of games, but I will be talking from a special edition perspective. However, everything that I will tell you about also works for Legendary as well. Once you have an account, the next thing that you want to do is you need to get a mod manager. And in this case, I recommend Mod Organizer 2. This is the new version. It's hosted on the uh, special edition version of the website, but it works for Legendary Skyrim as well. So make sure you go to the files tab and uh, download, I would say, the installer version. Now I already have it. And what you need to do next is basically go to the root folder of your Skyrim, Skyrim Legendary Special Edition, whatever you have, and uh, make, a, make a folder. I made a folder here, Mod Organizer Showcase. So this is where I'll be installing it. And I'm going to do that right now. So find the, the installer wherever you downloaded it, start it up and uh, point it to the uh, to the folder. So let's see, we have uh, D drive, Steam, Steam apps, common, Skyrim special edition, mod organizer showcase. Now, some people say you should not be installing there, but actually what they're telling you about are permission issues. My Steam is located on D drive, so there's no problems. I have had many builds of Skyrim with hundreds of mods, and not once have I had any issues at all so feel free to do it like that as well click next and here what you want to do is you want to scroll down and click on handle nexus links because you also want to be able to download the mods directly in the mod manager so that's pretty cool uh, don't need a start menu folder but i do want a desktop shortcut and that's it now wait a second until it installs and then we are going to start mod organizer and there will be a tutorial that I highly recommend you go through. I'm going to skip it because I already know how it works. So let's take a look real quick. The next thing that we need to do is you can create a new instance, but I actually like to use portable because I tend to have multiple installations of this and uh, I'm going to go with portable as well. Select the game. It should detect it automatically. And one of the cool things, actually, I don't need a tutorial, but you go through it. One of the cool things, it's it's a very easy to understand program. It's uh, very comprehensive, powerful. It integrates with Nexus as well. You want to change the theme of the program. Just go here, click on style. One of the things that I like to use is basically, let's see, Paperlite 6788. That's my preferred style. Looks very cool. There's also a Skyrim theme. So I'm going to close it now. I'm going to put it down here. And the next thing that you want to do is after you get mod organizer, we're pretty much starting to mod the game. So I'm going to close that as well. You need SKSC, Skyrim Script Extender. Now, this is a component that a lot of complex, if not all the complex mods depend on, and they will not work without it. So here you have SKSC for Legendary Edition, Special Edition, and VR. So download the one you need. I would suggest that you go with 7z archive that's why i told you about 7zip uh, extractor and once you download skse unpack it and simply take all of these files go copy go back to the root folder of your game and just paste them there and if you already have it overwrite uh, everything that's how you will be updating it's very important to keep it updated and now you have uh, now you have uh, SKSE enabled. So what happens now is that when you start Mod Organizer, you will see a little drop down that will display SKSE here. And this is basically how you will be starting an instance of Skyrim with Script Extender, a modded version of Skyrim. If you want to make it easy for yourself, click on Shortcut, go on Desktop. Then you can rename your shortcut to whatever you want. I'm going to do it like this now, Skyrim Showcase. And like I said in the previous video, if you want to be fancy, then you can also change it to look like uh, the other shortcut, root folder of the game, find the executable, pick up the graphic, click OK. And every time you start uh, 
the game from here, you will be running a, a modded instance version of uh, Skyrim. So now that we have SKSC, we are actually ready to start modding the game. So first thing that you want to do is I would recommend going with the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. Go to Files. And you can either download manually or use Mod Manager. Now, since I already have it, I'm going to show you how to install mods uh, manually. So you have an option here, install, install a new mod from an archive. And I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to go navigate to where this is located in my mod folder. Let's see, unofficial special edition, edition patch. Now, what you want to do here is you want to click manual. And you want to say that we want to see that it says here looks good. Now, this is not 100% required, but since mod organizer starts a virtual folder system when you run Skyrim, it's nice to keep the, the files organized organized the way they're supposed to be. So I'm just going to skip this tutorials and uh, this all looks good. The mod will now install. And the good thing about mod organizer is that all you have to do is uh, check and uncheck mods. As you can see, there's a little plugin here that will run with the game, all the game files plus the mod. The next thing that we want to install would be, let's see, SSE engine fixes. So this is very important. This will unofficial Skyrim's unofficial special edition patch will fix a lot of problems with the game, a lot of gameplay issues. However, SSE engine fixes will also fix a lot of different kinds of problems with the engine of the game. So your game will be running much better. But here you have a two part installation process. So the first part you download like any other mod and you install it, which is fine. That's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, I'm actually going to download that with the mod manager so you see how that works. Click on download. And the second part will, you will have to install manually. You will have to extract it and paste it in the root folder of the game. And I have two instances of uh, mod organizer, so that's why I'm getting this, this error. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to install the second part first. Let's see, I think I have it right here. There we go. Extract here. I'm going to delete that. What you want to do is pick up those DLL files. We could go with cut in this case. You want to paste them in the root folder of the game. And you want to move. I already have them, so I'm just going to overwrite them. And the next thing that I want to do is I actually want to pick up the, uh, let's see, engine fixes part one. So my mod organizer is having a little bit of a of an issue. Actually, I didn't. No, I'm, I'm, my apologies. Uh, the reason why I couldn't download is because I didn't put my uh, my Nexus information in the uh, in the interface. You you actually need to go to uh, you need to go to Tools Settings Nexus. Actually, I do have. I don't know. Failed for some reason. It failed. Maybe because I have two of them. So I'm just going to do it manually. Now. Once we have that, let's see, I'm going to download it here where I used to. And then I'm going to install it uh, manually again. Now here it doesn't say it looks good. So no game data on top level. What you want to do is right click set data directory and it says looks good. You install it. You enable it. We already copied the DLL files and that's it. We have two. Um, very important mods. Now, one of the other important mods is called Sky UI. And this is a must have mod, not only because it will improve your uh, your UI. Here, let me show you. So it will give you actually a, a PC UI. So because the Skyrim original UI is clearly made for consoles, so it will make it much easier. You have a lot of settings as well. But it will also provide the uh, MCM menu capabilities. That's basically when you have other mods that have settings that require those menus to be able to display them in the game. If you don't have Sky UI, you will not be able to uh, to have that work out for you. So make sure you download Sky UI. And that's ba this is basically how you mod Skyrim for beginners. Now you want to go install. Again, click on manual. Enable it. Now here you can also endorse the mod. If you want to be considered, click on endorse. 
you can actually disable the system in mode organizer and that's it i don't know why this doesn't want to delete but what i can do is i can show you how to delete it manually so you go to wherever you installed mode organizer go to downloads and there we go just click on delete done close it yes i want to quit and then open it again and let's see what happens now so i think we're just over the uh, yep all done i think we're just over the 10 minute mark and this is basically how you start modding uh skyrim as a beginner and uh, i apologize for a little bit of issues with mod organizer it's uh probably my fault that i didn't configure something properly but anyway if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comments below and as i said whenever you're downloading mods always read the description if you're playing on legendary skyrim edition then you want to be at just the skyrim version of nexus some mods work between the versions especially textures those are fine but most of the time you want to stick to the version of the game that you're playing read all the descriptions you have uh, the posts area is good because you can often see if there's any problems authors will give you notifications look at the dates and you can also see um if there's any issues with other mods, what people are saying, you don't have to read all of it, but like the latest 510 post or something like that, you can check. If you want to find popular mods, go to mods, go to popular all time. And here you will see now I already downloaded all this stuff. So it says you have a download tracker, so that's pretty cool. You can see what are the most popular mods for Skyrim at the moment. All kinds of stuff there. Feel free to have fun, just don't go crazy with them, because as a beginner you want to keep things nice and simple, easy to understand, and uh, read more about modding. And that's it for this guide, I hope you had a good time, and uh, good luck guys.